Hey, Forrest here. Nothing like getting paid. And with ICCU's mobile app, I can deposit checks or accept Zelle payments so the money hits my account fast. I just wish there was an app for mowing the rest of these lawns. Right now, Lift the Afford of Boise is buying used vehicles. How much you want for the SUV? Uh, I don't know. Well, Lift the Afford will give you more than that. How much more? More than you think. I'm not thinking anything. I'm thinking you might get even more than that. See how much more you can get at Lift the Afford of Boise. When it comes to concrete, we've got you covered. Rowpaint.com offers custom concrete coating services for your garage, business, warehouse, and more. And we do it in one day. We are your complete concrete coating solution. It's time for the Winston Venables Show with former Boise State linebacker and assistant coach, Winston Venable. The Winston Venables Show is brought to you by Progressive Wealth Management, enhancing wealth for this generation and the next. To speak to a trusted advisor or to learn more about Progressive Wealth Management's financial services, visit pwmmanagement.com. Now joining Winston Venable, here's BJ Reigns. Hey, what's going on, Boise State fans? Happy Wednesday to you here at BroncoNationNews.com, Bronco Nation News. Hopefully you're subscribed to that YouTube channel. Go to YouTube, click that little subscribe button. There's a little bell you can press on the notifications, so anytime we go with a live broadcast, you'll be uh, notified so you can uh, jump on and interact in the chat and uh we, you know we're on facebook we're on twitter but the easiest way is uh, that youtube channel so make sure you subscribe we're pushing towards 1700 subscribers and we got three shows today for you here at bronconationnews.com we're starting it off with the winston venable show of course here at 9 a.m uh, brought to you by progressive wealth management check them out pwmmanagement.com and our man winston venable is with us you saw him on the pregame show last week you saw him on BNN After Dark last week. You'll see him again tonight on BNN After Dark. He's uh, making the rounds here on social media. Winston, we appreciate it as always, man. How's it going? Uh, it's another Wednesday, BJ. It's a uh, it's a little funky outside, which I kind of like, man. You know, we get into the the soup and stew season and anchor down at the house a little more, and I enjoy that. Makes for some good football weather too. So I was gonna uh, say it's it's football weather. Yeah, man. I'm doing well. I'm doing well. Thanks for having us on again, man. Well, Let's we get got. This, uh, as I said, three shows today. We're going to be here for the next 30 minutes talking football and then uh, going to switch over and talk some basketball at 1030 with uh, the debut of the Matt Boucher show, 1030 a.m. today. So uh, if you're watching this show, come on back around 1030 to the uh, YouTube channel and we'll have the first edition of the Matt Boucher show. The uh, basketball team had a uh, exhibition win last night, a 76 to 58 over Carroll College. So We'll talk about uh, the basketball team with Matt Bauscher coming up about 1030. And then we'll be back tonight for subscribers only. Winston, uh, this should be another good one, man. We've been on a roll here with our guests for BNN After Dark, and you got us another uh, solid one tonight, man. Man, George Iloka, this dude is a, is a, is a savage, man. He's a, he's a rare dude, man, that I got the opportunity to play with. And um, we'll have some some stories to share tonight. You know, I think – George made me feel real comfortable as a player out there because I got to play fast and free. And I just knew that I had a sure tackler behind me and a guy that kind of ran the defense, great communicator. So it'll be awesome to reconnect with George tonight. And like you said, BJ got to be that subscriber though. That's right. Yep. 8 PM tonight. I saw we added two yesterday once we uh, announced that uh, George was coming on. So we'd love to get a few more today. Uh, if you are a subscriber, you'll get that link in your email a little later this afternoon. You can also go as always bronconationnews.com. Uh, I've heard from a lot of folks. That it's much easier just to click on that uh, live videos and then the BNN after dark tab, the video will show up there. All the previous episodes will show up there. And I've gotten a couple of questions, Winston. Yes. If you subscribe now, you do have access to go back and watch the older shows as well. So you can go watch, uh, whether it be Doug Martin or Jerron Johnson, some of the great episodes we've we've had. Uh, we're still working on the schedule, by the way. We may take next week off because of the basketball game. We're going to work on that, that they play Wednesday night. Uh, but uh, don't miss tonight. George Iloka, fifth-round draft pick, uh, like, what, nine years in the NFL, man. Uh, obviously was a, a big-time Boise State star, but uh, went on to, to have a, a nice long career in the NFL. And now he's actually dabbling into the, the podcast uh, media yeah, world I'm himself. Not- 
you know, we'll we'll dive into it tonight, but I'm not too sure that dude's done done trying to to put those cleats on, man. So yep. Um, I know he's his had page some says uh, free that, agent. But... It doesn't say retired. It says free agent. Yeah. Yeah. So it'll be it's going to be awesome to dive into little George's world, find out what he's got going on, uh, what his mission is, what he's up to. This is going to be a good one tonight, BJ. Yep. Eight o'clock tonight. Again, you can uh, subscribe and join us. We'd love to have you and, and uh, we'll, we'll get you in there and you can ask some questions. And we are offering that uh, $70 deal where you get the $25 gift card to the blue and orange store if you want to jump in. Uh, but that show is exclusively for subscribers. You get a private link. It's a private convo. Uh, most of what happens in there stays in there. We put out a couple small uh, clips and stuff, but uh, the majority of the, the the better stories and the better things uh, are, are only for our paying subscribers at BNN. So uh, looking forward to that. We got a lot to talk about today, Winston. Obviously coming off the uh, 49 to 10 win over Colorado State. Uh, Taylor Green continues to get better. This defense continues to allow nothing. But obviously a big test coming up against BYU on Saturday. Looks like it could be kind of a rainy, sloppy game there. As, as you said earlier, there is a pr- prediction for some rain uh, in the forecast on Saturday. Mm-hmm. But uh, four in a row, man, and as we kind of start this thing out, I mean, this team continues to win, continues to roll, and uh, all is well right now on in Bronco Nation in terms of the uh, football team. Yeah, I mean, those guys, uh, you know, I think they went out there last week and did what most – thought was expected and, and thought was going to happen, but it, you still got to play the game. Right. So I always, have, you know, talk about how these guys are college football players and you never know what you're going to get. And Colorado state's defense had played fairly well the last couple of weeks, but here you come to Bronco nation and get on the blue and it's a whole nother monster when you're going against these guys and how they're playing right now. So we got that 49, 10, just like your son had predicted just one point off there. Oh man. How about and, uh, that? He had 48-10 and it was 49-10. That was pretty yeah. impressive. Those guys, those guys were rolling. And it was it was fun to see. There was a lot of things that we could talk about um offensively, defensively, some names that popped up. So it was a really cool game just to to see the Broncos continue their role. And then I know that that, that building right now is heightened sense of urgency getting ready for this next week. I mean, as soon as they got done handling business at CSU, it was all BYU from that point on. Probably that next Sunday, it's on. The first time I told my kid that he had, you know, gotten the closest, or whatever, his first reaction was, "What's my prize?" So I'll have to, I'll have to come up with something when he uh, makes it back to Boise here in a little while. But uh, yeah, it was, uh, it was a, a fun day against CSU. We gave away that uh, cornhole set. We had a big crowd out there at the James uh, yeah. pre and post game. And uh, by the way, we're giving away a bike this Saturday, Winston. Uh, I haven't put it together yet, so this is just a picture of the box. But uh, a really nice Bud Light Seltzer Cruiser bike is the giveaway at the James. Uh, we're actually thinking about doing the show down from the uh, lobby, down from the uh, patio out front, where maybe mm. we can catch some folks walking by Winston, convince them to come on into the James. Uh, we might try something new, but with the rain also, we might need a cover. We're not sure what's going on, what we're going to do yet, but uh, we're working on some contingency plans for Saturday. But either way, all you have to do is stop by the James kitchen and bar right across the street from the stadium real quickly to stop on in show us you're a subscriber on the youtube channel and then you get to enter your name into the drawing and if you're a paying subscriber you get two entries in the drawing and then on the post game show we'll uh, draw a name and give away this bike so uh, looking forward to that and hope we see a lot of you down there on saturday and obviously a, a big one uh, byu the last scheduled meeting winston of the, the series for the foreseeable future when you think uh, boise state byu what comes to mind man Oh, it's, you know, it's an interesting deal for me because when I came back and, you know, started volunteering some time 2017 back with the program after my playing days were done, I didn't really, I never played BYU. And I mean, I've watched games from afar and sometimes when you're active and playing, you don't, you don't always get to catch all the games, especially, you know, I was in Canada for several years. So, you know, I wasn't able to watch all the BSU games, but um, I didn't really know about this rivalry and I didn't really know the the history that we've created. Um, so 2017 came back and I got a, a nice little taste of it and it was on. And it was like we started with that highlight film. Um, there, there's a film out there where there's some plays that BYU players have done in the past. And that kind of gets the Boise guys riled up. And uh, it's just it's a cool thing to be a part of. And uh, it'll be a hyped up game come this Saturday. So you, 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 whether it be uh, I think Chancellor James or somebody getting a punch to the uh, unwanted area, and I know uh, Elliot Hoyt has always been very outspoken against uh, BYU. I mean, you guys, uh, some of those cheap shots and things like that, you guys make sure the players are aware of that? Well, yeah, and I mean, it's not 
I mean, I'm not afraid to talk about it here because it's not anything that's not on ESPN or replayed everywhere else. I mean, this is stuff yep. out there. Um, and, you know, you take note of it. Uh, I think, of course, you take note of it as a Boise State Bronco, especially with what's happened in the past. And sure, it gives you some fuel, but that's not why you go out there and, and try to dominate a game. I mean, you want to win the football game and you want to win it the right way, you know, with class and all that type of stuff. And and with great physicality and all that, but, you know, not anything cheap. So I just think it's almost kind of, once again, know what you're getting into and uh, a warning about what could happen. So you're not retaliating, just know the type of team you're playing. And, and those guys are a tough team too. They're a good coach football team. So um, they just got some, some extracurriculars out there sometimes. Any moment or play in the rivalry that stands out to you? I mean, obviously, you know, there's so many. Uh, David Moa blocking the, the field goal at the end of the game, and then, you know, the, but the ball didn't reach the line of scrimmage, and so they got another shot at it. And then you had the thing where I think you were back when Zach Wilson got stuffed at the goal line on the sack. Uh, you know, you've had just so many memorable games. The one where, Boy you know, Boise State was undefeated and goes down there, uh, and it was a rainy, cold day, and Chase Cord had to start, and you yeah. lose by three in that one. Yeah. The last two, the last two years have kind of been, uh, you know, opposite wins. You know, Boise State got beat down pretty bad on the blue a couple of years ago. There was only limited fans due to COVID that game. They were on yeah. like their fifth string quarterback. Uh, but obviously, last year, uh, Boise State goes down there, and, and you guys just got a uh, a heck of a road win against a you know a ranked top ten BYU team. So uh, even if the game's not always you know down to the last play, it's usually an upset or or some sort of big game. I mean, it just seems like every game of the series, for the most part, this game delivers. Yeah, absolutely. I think you just take out whatever the team's records are. You know, six and two, four and four, whatever, four and five, whatever the records are, man. I mean, you just you eliminate all that talk. Um, and you got to play this game and it's a hyped up one. And I, I think I'd go just go back to last year. You know, we had some ups and downs as a team and that was a big, big game for us to go on the road, funky weather, rainy and and go out there with a, a big time win. And there was a collective win and the locker room was as vibrant as I've seen a locker room on the road for a Boise State win. And I just hopefully they can mimic that same type of feeling this uh, Saturday coming up. It is a blackout on Saturday for the uh, BYU game. Uh, Jordan's saying grateful to blackout because he can wear his uh, snow pants and his rain jacket, which are black. Uh, how, how will wet weather impact these teams? Jordan is wondering. I, I assume a team like Boise State that's built to run the football, probably okay in the rain. I, you know, what, what do you make of uh, rain impacting this game? Yeah, I mean, ball security is always a big issue. Throwing the football can be a big issue, but they – you know, these guys rep it, man. They rep it. They're practicing out in it. Um, they got wet balls. I mean, kickers, everything. So you, you do it. You do the best you can to adjust to the elements and all that. But it does play a factor. Um, you you got to make sure that that ball is, is secure and um, wild things can happen. I would say uh, Boise State has no issue going into a game thinking, let's run the ball. Um, I think that's their bread and butter. That's what they like to do. So I don't think the rain – is uh, making them too worried about oh, we have to run it now. Um, they're 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 developing into a well balanced offense, right? With with Taylor being able to throw it, and um, I like their chances going up against the team, saying, "Hey, you know we're going to run it," and uh, and let's see what happens. Saw Rudy at the basketball game last night, came over and said hello. He says, this game reeks of desperation for the Cougars to try to salvage their season, expect them to try everything and anything. And you do have two teams kind of going in opposite directions here, Winston. Boise State has won four in a row. BYU has lost four in a row. Uh, but if you look at the teams they're playing and the schedule they've played, um, you know, for the most part, they're playing uh, top 25 caliber teams. They actually do have a win against, you know, Baylor when they were top 10 earlier in the season. Yeah. So uh, it, it does seem like a case of one of those classic, maybe they're better than the, the record indicates. Yeah, totally. That's what I said earlier, BJ. You got to take the records out, man, for, for both teams. I mean, you can't look at. You know, you just can't look at the losses, the the schedules. This game of it is it's one of its own, right? Um, it's a it's a it's a rivalry that's been established, and anything can happen, man. And I think, yeah, you you if you do look at those schedules, BYU has played those tough teams. They're they're a solid team. They've played and been tested and challenged. So I think if you do want to look at the schedules, maybe not the 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 records, but who you've played. Are you battle tested? All those type of things. I think you can answer that pretty easily with BYU. They've, they've played some tough teams. And I think this game for Boise State 
is just going to go along right with the Oregon State, you know, the Fresno, San Diego, all these Air Force, the teams that we thought, hey, this is going to be a battle. These are going to be the challenges. Here's just another challenge, and it's a big one for them. Derek says uh, BYU comfortably beat both Wyoming and Utah State. They were three possession games uh, late in the fourth quarter. Uh, Kevin Foster says he's a little worried, Winston, about uh, the BYU trying to throw Talon Green off his game with some of the dirty plays and hits and stuff. It's going to be Talon Green's first dose of uh, BYU. Yeah, well, I think uh, I think the history will show that Boise State's um, high character guys, those guys don't res- they respond the right way in certain situations. I I don't recall being a part of many like you know extra flags on our side or retaliation that led to any big fights or anything like that. So uh, we got great kids here at Boise, and those guys are coached up well, and um, they know how to respond, and that's in between the lines scoring touchdowns and tackling well and being physical in the line of scrimmage and all those type of things. So they'll get the job done the right way and, and play the game how it's supposed to be. Hey, we're broadcasting from the Cutwater Can Cocktail Studios. Try out one of more than 30 flavors of pre-made, pre-mixed, premium canned cocktails at your local gas station or grocery store. I'll be having the, the Mai Tais tonight for BNN After Dark. Yeah. Uh, looking forward to uh, – I need to get you some, Winston. They got all kinds of – I know you're a big whiskey guy. I mean, uh, tequila guy, right? We, we, they got some tequila, margaritas, some of the good drinks there. We'll have to make sure we, we – got to get some to your house for tonight's show maybe. But we'll, I think uh, there's, there's a couple options there that I could roll are, with. For there are DJ. 30 flavors. There's an option for everybody, whether it's gin, tequila, rum, uh, whiskey, you name it. They got it all. And, and uh, looking forward to uh, enjoying a few tonight for being in After Dark again. Uh, two for seven, two for six fifty. I mean, it's very affordable and they're pretty strong, so you don't need a lot of them. Check them out at your local grocery store or a gas station. If you're uh, looking for a new job, how about becoming a truck driver? Transportation Compliance Service can help you every step of the way with the permits and all the licenses and things you need. Let them handle that for you. And you can it could be everything from the big rig on your screen to the Amazon truck in your neighborhood. Uh, check them out, transcompservice.com, and they can help get you going today. Boise Dentistry Co., that's my that's my uh, dentist on the screen there, Dr. Meyer. He'll have to be seeing my kids soon after all the uh, candy they were eating on Halloween. Uh, check them out, uh, boisedentistryco.com, locations from Mountain Home to Caldwell and everywhere in between. And uh, you won't be disappointed. You can talk sports while you're there in the chair with Dr. Miner. It's quick and easy and fun and uh, full family dentistry. So your kids or grandparents, whoever, check them out, boisedentistrycode.com. And United Commercial Insurance. If you own a business or if you uh, help with uh, the business insurance policies for your business, uh, they can write policies in 44 states around the country. So uh, check them out, United Commercial Insurance, 229-8222, unitedcommercialinsurance.com. If you're looking for business insurance, want to save some money on your business insurance, check them out at United Commercial Insurance. Now, this is, the, the side story here, obviously, Winston is the last game uh, in a while against BYU. This series is ending after this year. This was suppo- uh, Next year was supposed to be the final year of a uh, 12-year deal. They were going to take, yeah. take one year off and then start a new 10-year deal in 2025 so they were basically going to play every year except one until 2035 Uh, but with BYU going to the Big 12 uh, they had to cut some of their series out and uh, they informed Boise State that they could not continue the series uh, due to the nine conference games they now have to play and and they've got obviously Utah and Utah State to to try to play some as well and so uh, this is the last one man is there any extra kind of bragging rights or or motivation going into this one knowing that uh, it's the last one for a while Uh, yeah I'm not too sure that that the guys within the building are thinking that too much maybe for us fans you know there's a little bragging rights to talk about you know media but I don't think I that's was going to say you're, you're me, you're, you're half media now. You can't yeah, just, man, I just I dropped it on you. So I, you know, I'm not too sure that, that, that plays a huge factor. You know, this is the last time we've, we're going to play him. I'm not too sure, but I think it's, uh, it's cool to have that run with BYU. And it's also cool to maybe find out, you know, in the future, what our new teams are looking like and what other type of rivalry or great matchup we can establish for a five, seven, 10 year time and uh, get to that next phase. So um, this one's cool for the history books, right? This one's cool to be a part of and uh, looking forward to how it finishes off and what that final record looks like. And then we'll move on to the next opponent and try to get after them. Obviously, as you said, ball security, taking care of the football is going to be big in this game. Taylor Green last week against Colorado State, the first game he's played significant action where he did not throw an interception. Uh, he obviously had that uh, crazy 10-yard uh, run where he juked a couple guys. 
Uh, but uh, for the most part, he did it through the air again, 305 yards passing. That's four games in a row where he's his attempts, his completions, his yards, his production has improved four games in a row. I mean, we go back to that San Diego State game once in the, his first start. He was five of 10 for 48 yards. And you just think about we were talking about, oh, they're going to run for 300 yards and never going to pass the ball. They're, they're turning into Air Force. And, and you kind of keep fast forwarding every week. And now you're having Taylor Green pass for 300 yards in a game. Uh, what do you make of uh, the last month, his continued improvement and, and what Dirk Cutter is doing with him in this offense? Because uh, it, you go back to that San Diego State game, man, and it is uh, night and day at this point. Yeah, I think I, what great improvement, the growth. Um, and I think it's everything in that building. They know they know that that's what he has within him. And I think we've seen flashes of it before in the past. But um, what an awesome game he had to just really show his passing capabilities and that growth. I think if you think about it, BJ, that guy got thrown into the fire. There's a lot of stuff going on within that building. Coaches are out. Players are out. I mean, and now here I'm the guy like within a day or a, a moment's notice, he just learned that I'm probably the starting quarterback or I'm about to go earn the starting job now. Um, that's a lot of pressure, man, for a young dude. And you play for Boise State football. That's that is not an easy thing to do. Um, so I think you just you take that and then see his growth and how successful he's been. Awesome, man. And I think uh, just a great job developing him. He has confidence. He's gaining experience. And that's what we're seeing out there. And um, it, it, you can go run the tape. He has some throws where he's really anticipating the receivers coming out of their breaks. Um, not easy throws, not just getting the ball out of his hands, because, yep. yeah, you can rack up yards, throwing a little screen pass and have the running back run 80 yards. No, that's not what Taylor Green's doing. I mean, he's sitting in that pocket and delivering some strikes, some digs, some outs that are just, you know, that ball is thrown before the receiver's coming out of his breaks. That's elite quarterback play. So we're seeing some flashes here of what this guy can be. And once again, I think he did his job against Colorado State, and it's going to be uh, a big test for these guys next week to try to have a game like that again. Yeah, and I think hanging in the pocket, too. There was some times where the plays were breaking down, and he wasn't just, you know, earlier in the season against Oregon State, he would just tuck it and take off the first the first sign of trouble. Now he's kind of moving in the pocket, using his legs, yeah. but he's kind of keeping his eyes downfield. There was three or four times where yep. he was waiting and waiting, and then you'd see a, a receiver eventually come wide open across the middle for a 20-yard gain. I, I think uh, he's going through his progressions. He's not giving up on the play, and uh, I, he had seven plays of at least 20 yards passing in that game. Yeah, they're finding out what works for him. I mean, there's no no question he can throw the long ball. He can throw a deep ball, intermediate, all that stuff. So he's got the capabilities, and I think Dirk's finding out what works for him. But like you said, I mean, that offense, I think we got the names that we were waiting to hear about, the Cobbs, you know, multiple, not just one catch or one touchdown, multiple receptions, Billy Bowens. Um, you know, Talon's pass to Riley Smith. Talk about a nice touch pass. Very impressive. Very impressive. So that doesn't happen, you know, in a four week period. He has that within him. He's got the capability. He's got the talent. Um, he just this experience. We're just learning. We, we're just having the privilege to see it now what this guy's capable of. But that's why he's a Boise State Bronco and they brought him in um, uh, to do these type of things. Nice active uh, YouTube chat for uh, for a rainy Wednesday morning. Folks are uh, commenting, going back and forth. We appreciate all of it. We're we're working on a sponsor, by the way. We're trying to get a sponsor for the uh, comments here. You know, we're always trying to make as much money as we can. We gotta gotta pay Winston's lofty salary here. So uh, Zach Wilson flipped to BYU because he didn't realize Cougars was the mascot name. We're just gonna leave that one there with with all the rumors with uh, Zach Wilson. Um, but uh, he says, uh, Perry says, I think Talon is learning how to win. He may be tested. It'll be interesting to see how he responds. Uh, they were, uh, believe in Coach Cutter, going to have him ready. We'll just if need to. Uh, and Max says, uh, with the improvement we've seen from Talon, I'm sure he'll be ready, potentially show even more improvement. Great test for the freshman. Uh, give him a ton of experience. In terms of uh, physicality and uh, just some of the things that he's going to face, this probably is one of his bigger tests in, on Saturday. Yeah, I think so. I think so, man. I think uh... – I think you're always going to get that from BYU. Some of these guys are are more mature. They're older. I mean, um, I'm a believer in getting your grown man strength and uh, and all that. So uh, that's what you got uh, when you have a, when you have families. When you're 22, 23, 24, all those things 
um, come into play. So they're they're a mature group. They always are, and they're always hard hard workers, tough dudes. And I think yeah, Taylor and and Boise State's offense. I think Boise State's team is going to have their biggest challenge of the year so far. Rudy says you're right again, Winston. Uh, that's his biggest difference in his mind between Green and Bachmeyer is his ability to throw before the receiver finishes his pattern. Uh, it's gotten him a couple times. I mean, he did have two throws that probably sh- honestly should have been picked off in that Colorado State game. The one where uh, Steph Cobbs ripped it out of the guy's hands uh, in the end zone. There was another one right to the guy that he dropped. So, I mean, it wasn't perfect. He- he's not Vince Young yet uh, and obviously has a ways to go. But the continued improvement, and he is making, you know, it was interesting too. Andy said every week they're kind of focusing on, they're picking something different to focus on. This is the goal and the objective this week. Okay. This week it's your command in the huddle and your command, uh, you know, on the mm-hmm. offense this week, yeah. it's this week it's, Hey, we're going to, you know, work on, um, you know, pr- progressions and getting deeper in the progressions. And this week we're going to work on, you know, it's every week they're kind of going into the week with like a, you know, one thing they want him to improve on. And to this point, it seems to be working out. Okay. Yeah, what a great way to to develop a guy, right? I, I think that's awesome that they're doing that and that that's his approach because you don't want to overwhelm him. And I think that's that's one of these things you got to take care of your players. You got to make sure that they block out the noise. You know, they're the Vince Young talk, all that type of stuff, and the and you know going on a streak. You know, all, all those things. I've been a part of some some great teams at Boise, and you don't look at being ranked and you don't look at your statistics and those type of things. That kind of made us who we were that we weren't caught up in that noise. Um, and I, I can only imagine that Kellen had a, a great way to block out that noise. And a lot of our players did, and we just never got caught up in it. And um, that's one of those things that protecting your player and making sure you're developing the right way and not overwhelming them in the situation and not hyping them up too much or bringing them down. It's this even keel to go out there and perform. It's that performance anxiety curve that um, you got to stay, you got to stay in the right level. Well, we may have to wait till January or February when the Cowboys are done playing, but we're going to find out from Kellen Moore when you get him on BNN After Dark at some point. So oh, yeah. that, that will break the internet when Kellen Moore comes on BNN After Dark, but we will make it happen. We may have to wait till their season's over, but uh, you're, you're going to get that done, and we will ask him one of the many questions about how all that works. I, we have a couple minutes left. I do want to talk about the defense, Winston. They were very, very impressive, uh, but I do want to thank a couple more of our sponsors real quick. Uh, the Blue and Orange Store, check them out, theblueandorangestore.com. Free shipping, any order over $40. That's right. Free shipping on any order over $40. You can also go to the blue and orange store.com. We're doing a special edition of the Matt Bowser show with Travis Hawks live next Wednesday from the blue and orange store. I may need to talk to Winston off air, see if we can do Wednesday's show, uh, Tomorrow, uh, at the Blue and Orange Store potentially next week or at least change the time up a little bit. But i uh, got a big event next Wednesday for the Blue and Orange Store. Check them out, theblueandorangestore.com. Ridley's Family Markets, shopridleys.com. 13 Idaho locations. You can find one near you at shopridleys.com. they got the at-home shopping, the Skip app, all that great stuff. We appreciate Ridley's Family Markets. Timberstone Golf Course as well. Play timberstone.com. Uh, I know it's rainy today, but uh, there's still some time to get out there. Uh, and, uh, you know, they've got the track man, the lessons, all the indoor stuff as well if the weather's not great. But uh, get on out there. Keep working on your game. You can't go all winter without playing golf and come back in February or March thinking you're still Tiger Woods. So get out there. Play timberstone.com. And uh, looking forward to uh, getting out there myself here in the near future. Idaho Central Credit Union, ICCU.com. Mobile, eBranch, online banking. It's all so easy. I've never been back in the store once I signed up my account. You can do it on your phone, all online. We appreciate Idaho Central Credit Union. Lithia Florida Boise as well. Tough Town is going on. Check them out, Lithia Florida Boise. And uh, again, even if you don't want to buy a vehicle from them, you can, uh, you know, they have a used, uh, you know, they'll buy your used vehicle to make a cash offer on the spot. It's a great deal. So check them out, Lithia Florida Boise. And uh, last but certainly not least, our title sponsor, ropepaint.com. If you're in the Twin Falls area, again, make sure you check them out. BNN Twin 23. They're looking for some work down there. They want to keep their uh, painters and those uh, contractors down in Twin Falls busy this winter and feeding their families. So help them out. BNN Twin 23 is the promo code, and you can get uh, 23% off your work down there in the Twin Falls area. You got to put the promo code in when you're asking for the price quote. Go to ROEPaint.com for more information. But uh, again, BNN Twin 23. We need some of you folks down in Twin Falls to help us out and uh, at least inquire about a rate with Row Paint so they can see that their uh, advertising is working. And we appreciate uh, ROEPaint.com, the official paint and coatings company of Boise State Athletics. Uh, somebody commented here about uh, the defense, Winston. And uh, where was it at here? Basically saying, uh, hopefully, uh, oh, defense will feast on Saturday. Hopefully, Matlock plays and gets more sack stats. Um, obviously we saw some guys, man, we, we had George Tarlis out for the season. 
You know, yeah. Isaiah ba- Isaiah Banya, we kind of hinted on the pregame show. Something might be going on there. He sends out a graphic uh, that he's transferring out of the program. So you lose, you know, two guys. That, um, I know Banya hadn't done a ton this year, only 10 tackles, but I think he was a guy that you, you felt okay about playing if you had to. You didn't have Scott Matlock. You didn't have Jackson Cravens. They yeah. were down some They were down some serious guys against uh, – uh, Colorado State. I do expect uh, Matlock to be back for BYU. I don't know about Cravens. Uh, obviously, Tarlos is not coming back. He's out for the year. But uh, guys like Divine Obacheri, man, four and a half tackles for loss. There were some guys that stepped up in that game, and and they're going to need them to be big again against BYU. Yeah, you had 33-95 out there doing their thing. I mean, it was cool. I think some of that stuff, you know, when guys go down and you talk about carrying the flag and the next man up and stepping up and, and really seeing – what your depth is looking like. So getting Cortez out there and divine, that was awesome. And, you know, what's really cool about, you know, dominating an opponent is, you know, you, you get later in that fourth quarter and you start seeing guys like Andrew Simpson out there and the Mike Callahan's and Gabe Hunt, Gabe Hunter Hunter had that interception. Get an interception. So um, awesome for those guys just to experience the game and playing and all that, like, that's awesome. But it also gives the coaches, you know, another look at, hey, where are we at with depth? What do these guys need to improve on? If Scott Matlock goes down again, we feel really comfortable because Divine or whoever has got game reps. So, um, you know, Andrew Simpson might be called on to play valuable reps against BYU this week because, you know, something happened, whatever. Right. So him getting those reps in a Colorado State game, it's awesome experience. It really helps out. Um Defense, offense, anytime you can get young guys playing. So, yeah, the the bear crawl celebration. I mean, it's just awesome. Divine out there having fun on the blue. Uh, yeah, what what an awesome experience, dude. Would Going Coach, would Coach Pete have gone for the bear crawl celebration? Uh, have you heard about that in a meeting or something the next week? No, nah, I mean, there was there was a couple celebrations that I think got brought up that was like can't be doing that or you always had to be cautious of of some things hand gestures uh, we'll actually bring that up tonight George I look I had a little hand gesture I don't know if he got in trouble for it or not a flag but we'll have to ask him about that tonight P was probably on a little bit of that but um, times have changed a little bit guys get away with spinning the ball a little bit in the end zone after scoring now and. Well, uh, apparently, apparently Riley Smith didn't because he got a penalty somehow after he did that. I don't know what happened there. But, oh, did he uh, get a penalty there? Well, he was walking off the field. I don't know what the ref decided to do. I mean, yeah, Riley Smith did get an unsportsmanlike penalty after his touchdown. I don't know why, but uh, okay. you mentioned George Iloka. He'll be on tonight, BNN After Dark, uh, 8 o'clock, only for subscribers at Bronco Nation News. Uh, you can still have time to subscribe today for as little as six ninety nine a month, or you can do the uh, $70 yearly fee, which includes a one-time payment. You get two months off. You also get a $25 gift card to the Blue and Orange Store. If anybody came on late, Winston, why should they uh, tune in tonight for George Iloka? I mean, why, BJ? I mean, I I feel like why you should tune in and be a subscriber is because you get the most exclusive content that Bronco Nation ears can get with some of the best players to ever play on the Blue. So um, here's just another one. George Iloka joins us tonight, BNN After Dark. Uh hear from one of the greatest, see what he's up to now, learn about his journey to Boise State through the NFL and and post-NFL. And, I mean, this is exclusive content, man. So I've had a a great time doing it with you guys, and it's been fun. The players, are uh, they get excited about it and sharing stories. So um, why not is is the question, man. There you go, man. It has been a lot of fun to see you. And once you and uh, your buddies get on there and start telling stories and laughing and going down memory lane, it's been a a lot of fun. And I have a feeling, uh, knowing George a little bit, that this is going to be one of the best ones tonight. So make sure you tune in. If you're a subscriber, they'll get it sent to your email. Or you can go on the website, as we talked about, and click on that BNN After Dark tab. If you're not a subscriber, still time to jump in. And you can uh, watch tonight's show live. You get it. It's basically a private YouTube link, so you can still ha- interact and have comments and things, but it's only for subscribers of BNN, so we appreciate that. And don't forget, coming up here in about an hour, the return of the Matt Bowser Show, Episode 1, coming up at 1030 
I'll be back in an hour right here on uh, YouTube, Facebook, Twitter, and uh, we'll talk about that basketball game last night. Uh, turn the page. I can do it all, Winston. I can go from football straight into basketball. I can go be in and after dark tonight, man. Uh, See, you're re- you're you're real media, BJ. I'm just I'm along for I'm along for a ride, man. It's one of those days, man. We're gonna after the Matt Bowser show, go down and do some football interviews. Come back and do a football story. We got a full day today, uh, but uh, looking forward to it all. And again, ten thirty. Come on back for the debut episode of the Matt Bowser show. A um, couple of quick ones as we get out of here. I don't think anybody got ripped like Austin Pettis did when he did his flip. Pete was tipped. yeah. That was that was no and a big no no. <laughs> that didn't go over well. <laughs> oh, was it Titus Young or Pettis? No, Pettis at Wyoming. Yeah, it was. I'm sure uh, Titus had a celebration or two. <laughs> hey, man, when, look, when you score that much, when you ball out as much as you do, I mean, hey, and when and when the guys that you idol are doing it above you, it's like, I mean, it's a not a part of the game, but uh, hey, you know, you gotta you gotta celebrate a little bit. Hey, uh, that'll do it for today's show. Again, come see us Saturday. Stop by the James. You can uh, register to win the Bud Light Seltzer Cruiser Bike. We're giving it away on Saturday. If you follow us on YouTube, it's all you got to do. You can drop your name in the bucket, and uh, you can try to win that Bud Light Seltzer Cruiser Bike. So we'll see you Saturday at the James. We'll see you back in an hour for the Matt Bowser Show, and hope to see uh, all of you and some new subscribers tonight at 8 o'clock for BNN After Dark with George Iloka, John Mallory, Winston, and myself. Winston, appreciate you, man. Get some work done today. Have a good day, and uh, we'll uh, we'll uh, open up a cocktail together tonight and have some fun, man. Appreciate you. Hey, thanks, BJ. Uh, appreciate, appreciate this Wednesday morning getting it started off right. There he is, Winston Venable, Progressive Wealth Management. Make sure you check him out for all your uh, financial needs and inquiries. You can check him out at uh, pwmmanagement.com, and we appreciate them uh, for helping with uh, Winston, letting him uh, take 30 minutes each Wednesday morning to uh, not reply to uh, company emails or uh, messages and uh, talk football with us. So, Winston, we'll see you tonight. That'll do it. Tonight's show, or today's show, the Winston Venable Show, Bronco Nation News. Have a great day, and we'll talk to you here in a little bit with Matt Bauscher. Talk some basketball here at Bronco Nation News, bronconationnews.com.